हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टू माय चैनल कोड विथ ईस बाय वर्षा सो टुडे सेशन विल बी अबाउट सॉलिड प्रिंसिपल्स इंट्रोडक्शन एंड ओवरव्यू सॉलिड प्रिंसिपल्स इज समथिंग व्हिच इज अ मस्ट नो फॉर एवरी सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर एंड दिस इज लाइक अ बेसिक डिजाइन प्रिंसिपल इफ यू वांट टू डेवलप सॉफ्टवेयर इफ यू वांट टू राइट कोड दैट इज इजी टू रीड इजी टू मेंटेन पीपल विल अप्रिशिएट द वे यू हैव रिटन द कोड क्वालिटी इज गुड एंड इट इज फ्लेक्सिबल इजी टू बी एक्सटेंडेड एंड मॉडिफाइड बाय अदर डेवलपर्स देन यू मस्ट नो सॉलिड प्रिंसिपल्स बिकॉज़ वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग पैराडाइम थ्रूआउट द सेशंस दैट वी आर डूइंग फॉर सॉलिड प्रिंसिपल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू यूज जावा सो आई विल प्राइमरीली टॉक अबाउट जावा बट i'll try to explain the principles in very layman terms so that anyone who is from a non computer science background who has no programming knowledge also can try to understand what each of these principle is trying to imply how they can be putting an impact in our real life so let's begin so first of all what are solid principles the definition says it is a set of five design principles for object oriented programming and these were introduced first by this person he is famously known as uncle bob but his name is robert c martin so it was introduced by robert c martin in early 2000s each of the letters in the word solid stands for each principle so s stands for single responsibility principle o stands for open and closed l is for liskov substitution i interface segregation and d is for dependency inversion so how we are going to do is we are going to see what this principle is about the actual definition and we are also going to do a layman term comparison like in simple words what it means we will see some code examples to see how we can correlate in real world scenarios so all of that we are going to do throughout this course on solid principles so that's all about the introduction now let's see why do we need to learn solid principles like i said if you want to develop good quality software you have to know these principles but so majorly there are three reasons why you should learn number one is code quality obviously all of us when we write code we want our code to be well structured we want our code to be easy to understand less prone to errors so that is why it enhances the code quality when you know solid principle and start incorporating solid principles in your code automatically your quality of the code is going to be enhanced i remember we were having one design discussion in one of uh, our team meetings and then suddenly one intern pointed out that no this is not right because we are violating the single responsibility principle of the class that we are designing and then it just appeared to me once again that yeah solid principles can really help us point out things and thus it talks about the common language point that when we are in such kind of team meetings with different other stakeholders with other peers it's so easy to collaborate because we understand what each of us are trying to imply so that is why it helps to establish a common language between all the fellow developers and thirdly flexibility so of course if the code is easy to maintain then the code will be more extensible all of these principles try to promote creating code that can easily adapt to each other because we know that technology is constantly evolving right requirements change uh, one day or the other so now for legacy systems like the old systems where we have old technology suppose you have a legacy code base and you want to migrate it to the latest cloud native code base so if you have to do that you if you don't print, if you don't apply your solid principles it will not be able to be easily extensible or easily maintainable so that is why knowledge of solid principles is really very important and each of them one by one we are going to cover from the course so that's all for today uh, see you guys in the next video where we will talk about the first principle that is single responsibility principle